Chris Mortensen now joins us on Sports Center. And Chris, why did the Titans make this decision? Well, I have I, I can't tell you exactly why I haven't spoken to Tommy Smith, the CEO of the Titans, who made this decision, and he is the son-in-law of Bud Adams, as you know, who passed away in mid-season, and so you know, took reins of the team and the organization, and they had a, a day-long or half a day-long meeting yesterday, and. Uh, you know, as you know, it was reported by by the Tennessean and Jim Wyatt that indications were Munch could be back. But and Jim's an excellent reporter, but the indications were attached to conditions, conditions of staff changes, and there's a certain feeling that Munch wasn't comfortable in making some of the staff changes. I think he was willing to make some. Uh, that's that's and that's why it's a. We're still in a little gray area as to the reason why. I mean, listen, he had three years there. It wasn't a disaster. He was nine and seven his first year, uh, six and ten last year with quarterback injury problems and a rookie, uh, basically a rookie quarterback in Jake Locker, and then this year, uh, seven and nine, and uh, with Locker, you know, Locker, Locker started the season three and one, or and the Titans did with no no turnovers. Then Locker got hurt again. And Ryan Fitzpatrick, who went four and twelve with the Bills, actually, you know, still made them competitive. But it just it, it, uh, things apparently didn't add up for Tommy Smith. Uh, and 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 then, you know, listen, there were fans. You know, people were saying, hey, they won't sell as many tickets if they bring Munch back. But uh, you know, we don't know the exact reason. So I will say this: uh, it, it must have been a difficult decision because it wasn't a, a lock that he should have been fired. That's for sure. And the other thing is. This is a guy who's been with the organization for 30 years as a Hall of Fame player, a line coach, and then a head coach. You mentioned he's a Hall of Famer in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He also played his college ball at Penn State, which now has a coaching vacancy since Bill O'Brien has left. What are the chances we see Munchak surface in Happy Valley? I don't know. I, 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 I'm not sure that that – I don't think that was part of this motive here. Like if, if, if Munchak, you know, declined on, on some of the changes they wanted to make, that he felt he had Penn State in his hip pocket. In fact, he obviously has friends and guys he's close to who are involved in the Penn State program, somebody like a Matt Millen. But, you know, the, the, the indications are that that was not, that was not on Munchak's uh, – plate in terms of it being at the front of the line. Now, maybe that can change. You know, Penn State, as you know, is interviewing Al Golden from Miami today and is supposed to meet with James Franklin of Vanderbilt uh, tomorrow or the next day. And, you know, maybe maybe Munch would take a look at it. But there's no – there's I've had nothing concrete that said he would pursue the Penn State job. He might have some pursuit by them. All right, that's ESPN senior NFL insider Chris Mortensen with the latest – with Mike Munchak fired by the Titans, the seventh coach to be fired since the start of this past season.